Hi guys, got a quick post bag for you today. Uh, just a few items uh, this time from AliExpress. Uh, it's going to be the last one for a little while. Everything's come in that I'm needing. So yeah, let's go and take a look. Okay, four packages, let's take a look. Get this big one first. What is this? Okay, we have a zip, I think that's a free gift, uh -huh. this is a roll of PU leather, uh, fake leather, faux leather, uh, this is going to be for my light project, I'm building an LED light panel, I'll eventually get round to it. What I'll do, it's a following a tutorial from DIY Perks. Uh, I'll put a video up there, link to his video. Uh, yeah, go take a look at it. Just want to improve my lighting. There's a few other videos of my post bags um, of all the other bits and bobs. Uh, but this is a, a backing for it. So yeah, it's this long one. Aha, uh -huh, this makes more sense. These uh, should be Yes. These are some bearing connectors. Um five millimeter to eight millimeter. And that's to connect a lead screw to a stepper motor. Uh, you get a set of five. Here are eight mil Lee screw nuts, uh, which begs me to believe that these should be. Yes. The 300 mil, 30 centimeter, 8 millimeter, 8 mil thread Lee screws. Uh, it's going to be an upgrade for my uh, Prusa. Uh, P3 steel printer. I'm not 100% happy with the M5 rod for the Z axis. Uh, so I'm going to upgrade to a threaded threaded rod. We shall see if that improves the reliability. Certainly doesn't need to improve the quality. But we shall see. Next up. Uh -huh. yeah. What is this? This is a basically it's a heated bed heat board uh, for my 3D printer again. I've been having a few issues with the connectors on the ramps board. Uh, trying to push a lot of current through the small connectors, it's it does tend to melt them um, if you if your heated bed is pulling too much current. Uh, and it also takes a long time for the heated bed to get up to a high temperature if I need it on a high temperature. Uh, so this board is basically a big MOSFET uh, and you connect your 12 volt in. You connect your um, heated bed on the other side and then the control to the ramps board goes in here. And instead of going through the ramps board, this basically manages all the power. So apparently it heats up a lot quicker and is less likely to melt and burn down your ramps board. So another upgrade for my printer. And last but not least. What have we got here? Oh, two battery cases. These are AA and AAA battery cases rechargeables uh, or alkalines they're supposed to clip together as well like that um, if you've got a lot of batteries you should really keep them grouped together if they're used together and recharged together uh, I've got a lot lying around now so I just need a couple of cases let me just find here's some batteries uh, you can see the AAs go in like that 
and these triple A's, supposedly, if I had four, go in. Oh yes, like that. Positive end sticking out. Keep them safe. Yada yada yada. Oop, done that one. Oh, these. These are eight mil uh, twenty soft tactile switches. Like a normal breadboard switch. However, it can be tricky to get this on the camera. Uh, they are soft touch. Instead of making that annoying click, 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 clicky sound that sounds like a really cheap switch, it's got a rubber silicone uh, connector. So you don't hear it. Ideal for if you're making like a, a Raspberry Pi a retro console and you don't want to hear click, 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 click. Yeah, found those on AliExpress and wanted to get some. These are some battery cables, some uh, XH uh, 2.54 GST connectors. Uh, these are the females that connect into breadboard, uh, connect into circuit board connectors. It's got a 20 centimeter wire on it connecting up to a LiPo battery. <laughs> uh, additionally, well, I did order the male circuit connector, so this would get soldered onto a circuit board or you could push it into a breadboard, I imagine. And that's what the connector would go into. It's 50 of those. And it also came with 50 of the female without the uh, crimp metal parts. Didn't actually order those, it came with it. I wasn't aware I needed those, but that's handy. That's one of them. And last but not least, this is a 5.5 to 2.1 power terminal. Um, but on the end, you get a uh, breadboard and developer friendly terminal block putting some positive and negative wires. So that is it. Not much, some handy little things, a few little projects, quite interested in that. Gonna give that a play, see if it actually does heat up. Maybe do a little video review, get some timings of the uh, heated bed before and after, uh, mainly heat up time, see if it is quicker. Uh, so yeah, there you go guys. Uh, if you like that, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, thanks very much, guys. Catch you later.